What's up people of YouTube? So today I have a drug test for a job offer that I got. Um, unfortunately, I tested myself yesterday with an at-home test and I was positive for THC. Um, I don't do any other drugs, so I don't know if this works for other drugs or what, but we're gonna test it out today for THC. I'm sure you've probably seen or heard of this stuff before, the Q-Carbo. Uh, we're gonna see if it works. Uh, so a little bit of backstory. I stopped smoking for about two weeks to get clean to take the drug test. I went and took the drug test and unfortunately I drank too much water, I guess. So my test came back negative, but diluted. Uh, so they called me up and they're like, oh, you gotta take another one. Um, but after that first drug test, I started smoking again. So my pee wasn't clean anymore. So I smoked for about a week. They called me up, said I failed. And basically I told them I was out of town <laughs> so that I could get some uh, time to detox. So it's been about four days since I smoked and I got to go take my drug test today. I tested myself last night and it was still coming up positive. So, you know, we're just gonna try this out, see if it works. Um, I'm going to take you through step by step what I'm going to do. And if it works, follow it. If it doesn't work, then uh, I don't know what to tell you. So this uh, Q Carbo 16, I got at GNC for like 40 bucks, I think. Uh, they have a 32 ounce one if you have a like bigger body mass. I'm only like 135 pounds, so I just went with the 16. I heard if you're like over 160, you should go with the 32. And if you have a lot of fat probably go with the 32. So it's currently 10.30. Fortunately for me, they said I could pretty much do my drug test any time today. So 10.30 right now, I'm gonna shoot to be there at about 11, or not 11.30, sorry, 1.30. You wanna drink this about three hours before you go take your drug test. Also, so my test doesn't come back diluted, I'm going to take some B-complex gummies to make my pee look yellow. And then I'm also going to take some creatine. Uh, I know this stuff has creatine in it, but I'm just going to take some extra creatine just to be safe because they test that. And if your pee doesn't have enough creatine in it, you'll come back diluted. Um, you can get this at GNC as well. I picked this up at Walmart. You can probably get creatine at Walmart too. I don't know. But anyway, it smells kind of. Smells kind of like fruit punch mixed with like. Nasty locker room body odor. I don't know. All right. Ooh. Kind of spicy. What's that? Black pepper extract, I guess. Oh, it also says to drink it at like a, over the course of like 30 minutes. Um, so I'm not going to just chug it. I've heard that it can like make your stomach upset. So I'm just going to try to drink it at a steady pace, have it finished by 11. It says to do this on an empty stomach. So I haven't eaten anything today. Uh, I woke up around 7.30. All I've had is, I had a cup of coffee and like a glass and a half of water. Um, I have already peed twice today. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. I mean, I heard the, your first pee of the day is like the most, gonna have the most toxins in it because you've been sitting overnight. So it's just been filling up with THC. Uh, so you never wanna take a drug test your first pee of the day. After you drink this, you're gonna Fill it up at least like two or three times with water and drink that. Uh, that's when I'm going to add the creatine. And then you want to pee at least two to three times before your drug test. We're going to shoot for the test to be the fourth pee. Um, so it's not like too clear. I want a little bit of color in my pee. I heard this turns your pee like green. That's why we're taking the vitamins. Because it'll turn your pee yellow. So hopefully it'll make it like a nice yellow color. I don't know. We're just hoping for the best today. All right, the time is now 10.52. 
So it's been 22 minutes since I started drinking this, and then we're down to the last tiny little bit in there. You can see all the floaties and chunks and shit, so uh, this last bit's probably gonna be the worst. Oh yeah, that was not very good. But now we're gonna fill it up with water, add a little creatine in there, and drink it again. Alrighty. Oh, looks like nasty. Oh, gotta add a little creatine. I don't know how much that was. Couldn't tell you. Eyeballing it. I also heard that creatine, when it sits in water for a long time, like how this has just been chilling with the creatine in it, it kind of breaks down the creatine, so that's another reason why for extra safety we're adding some creatine, because if your pee doesn't have enough creatine in it, it's going to come back diluted. Alright, I finished my first um, bottle full of water. Now I'm going to take uh, one of these B-complex gummies. I'm gonna just kind of spread them out. Um, I guess with vitamin B, once your body uses what it needs, it just pees the rest out. So I'm just gonna take one of these with basically with each bottle of water that I drink. So they're kind of evenly spread out. All right, it's 11.07 currently. I started at 10.30. Um, I drank the whole Q-Carbo. And I've had two of these full of water so far. I'm gonna take second B vitamin. And uh, hopefully I'll have my first P soon. And I'll let you guys know how that one looks because I hear it's gonna be like bright green. I don't know, I'll let you know. But I'm gonna start on my third bottle of this. Um, some people say to try to drink a whole gallon of water. I feel like if I did that, my pee would just be completely clear, and then it's just going to come back diluted, and I don't want that again, so, I don't know. I'm going to drink a couple more of these. I'm going to have my third one right now, and then just see how my pee looks. It's 11.22. I just finished my third bottle full of water. Haven't peed yet, um, but I'm probably going to in just a second. So I'm gonna go fill this up again. And start my fourth bottle of water. I just had my first pee since drinking the Q-Carbo. Um, if you're curious what the color is like, that's the color. It's like it's pretty green, but it's pretty yellow. I mean, it doesn't look too suspicious to me. Um, my next pee, I'm gonna do an at-home drug test to see if pee number two is clean. Uh, supposedly it's like number three is supposed to be the first clean pee. So we'll see, I'll keep you updated. All right, so I just finished the fourth bottle. All right, pee number two is pretty green as well. It's kind of yellow. I think the B vitamins are helping it turn yellow-ish, more so than just straight green. I don't know how it would look without them. Uh, but I'm probably gonna take a couple more. I've only taken two so far, but about to do the test. Uh, this one tests for five drugs. The only one I'm concerned about is THC because I don't do uh, any hard drugs. I'm not trying to ruin my life, but uh, here we go. All right, it's 11.45. I 
Um, about an hour since I drank the original drink. I've had four of these full of water, two B vitamin gummies, and one of the waters I added some creatine. Um, the results came back negative. Pretty, pretty definitively negative. So, I think we're going to be good to go. Alright, so it's 12 o'clock now. I just had my third pee. There's the color. Looks pretty good. Kind of yellowy green. Um, I'm going to test it. This is my last drug test I have. So, after this, we're, we're going in blind. I think I may... Head over there early. I was planning on getting there about 1.30, but I think after this, I'm going to hurry and take a shower and just go do it. Um, about halfway through with my fifth bottle of water, I added creatine to this one and I took a third B vitamin. I think what I'm going to do is just finish this after I take a shower, take one more B vitamin, and head over there um, to the drug test center. So. Let's test it out, see how clean we are. I mean, the, the second pee was already clean, so this one should be good too. But I think the reason I'm gonna go now is cause I do have a pretty fast metabolism. Um, so I don't want this to be, like the detox to be completely out of my system by the time I get to the testing center and then be peeing dirty again. I know it's supposed to last like five hours, but you know, if I'm already peeing clean, might as well just go get it done, right? All right, we'll see how that does. Be right back in a few minutes. I mean, you can already see it's got the two lines on all of them, but we'll let it sit just to make sure. All right, so here's the test results. THC is that bottom one right there, and we are good to go. So I'm just going to hurry and take a shower real quick, head over there, and my next P, P number four, is going to be the actual test P. So, wish me luck. Alright, it's 1242, just pulled up to the testing center. I gotta pee so bad, so hopefully they get me back there quick. All right, we're back. Um, the pee was kind of green looking, but it was sort of yellow too, so I think it should be okay. Uh, you don't get immediate results. Probably here back in about three days or so. I mean, for you guys, it'll be like immediately, but I'll give you an update once I get the results. I just got my results back. It's the next day and I passed. So, which is awesome. I didn't really think I was going to, but it worked. I just want to do a quick recap on what I did. Uh, so I stopped smoking for four days before my drug test. I've heard of people passing their drug tests and smoking the night before with this stuff, but I didn't want to run that risk. So I gave myself as much time as I could. Uh, I do smoke pretty heavily, about three to five times a day. Usually it depends on the day. Um, but I'm pretty skinny, I'm six feet tall, 135 pounds. Uh, so what I did is I woke up that morning, I didn't have any food. Uh, you want to make sure you give yourself at least three hours when you drink. Well, I did it in two and a half, but generally people say from three to four hours before you take your drug test is when you want to drink the drink. So make sure you, make sure you give yourself that time. Uh, I didn't have any food the whole time. I drank the whole drink, four and a half of the bottles filled back up with water. Uh, I took three B vitamin gummies spaced out and I had added creatine to two of those bottles of water. And I went and had my test on my fourth P. Uh, and it worked for me. So if you follow these step by step, it'll probably work for you. I, I hope so. So just wanted to share my experience with you guys. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, just leave a comment, I guess, and I'll respond. But I think I pretty much covered everything, so thanks for watching.